Hello again, Packaholics. For me, it's Saturday morning. The mailman left about an hour ago. And I spent the last hour puffing on a cigar out on the front porch, wondering what the heck it was that I did to deserve the package that I got. I just, uh, I'm still stunned. I finally figured out who it must be from, but I won't know until I open it. And I will open it to solve the mystery of not only who sent it, but what's in it. I got a priority package today from the Hobby Box in North Carolina. All of you, you know, pretty much know him as Chris. You know, probably, you know, the best box opening videos on, on the net, certainly the most subscribed to. And I know I did not order anything from Chris recently, so I certainly wasn't expecting that. But I did have a, uh, a fantastic YouTuber, Trent, better known to y'all as Skylar81501, who, you know, contacted me this week and told me to, you know, if I get a package that I wasn't expecting, it almost surely was from him. So this has got to be it. Anyways, before I crack that open, and Lord knows I can't wait, let's let's show you what uh, the new additions were to my auctions starting this morning. I just checked. None of them have bids yet. So, uh, yeah, well, let's, let's do that. 2004 Topps Pristine Fantasy Favorites Game Bat of Angel Barrera. Or Angel. Angel, whatever. Uh, upper Deck All-Rookie Team Autograph of Kevin Cameron of the Padres. How about this? 2002 Flair Showcase Authentic Game Used Base. Vladimir Guerrero. Uh, here's another Josh Johnson Press Pass SC Gridiron Graphs autograph. I had one earlier, but a little over a month ago that was one, and it was picked up at a ridiculous price. You can do it again. Here's a uh, National Chickle. Ray Rice uh, game jersey. There's a real pretty card. Dunruss Classic, Sunday's Best, Jersey of Maurice Jones Drew. Nice card. And that is serial numbered to 299. And finally, I don't know how many of you had uh, had bought Upper Deck Draft Basketball in the past and you nailed one of these uh, redemption cards. Well, I will include this, because as you can see, it's been redeemed. I will include this with whoever wins the card that I got in return for it. A beautiful Jordan Brand Classic jersey of Drew Holiday. How nice is that? And again, I will include the redemption with it. Also, if you remember the uh, the rare action pack coasters that I've put up recently, I put up a lot of six quarterbacks. It's all for for one price. So I mean, you can, you know, if you're the only bidder on this lot, you can buy all six of them for a quarter, not a quarter piece, but a quarter for the entire lot. I'd be absolutely stunned if there isn't some people on this. Phil Sims, Boomer Esiason, and a shout out to Puff Bear. I understand you're a Esiason and Sims collector. I had already listed this before I found that out, but uh, I've got extras of those two guys, so maybe I'll just have to send them in a packet soon. Warren Moon, Jim Kelly, 
Randall Cunningham and Troy Aikman. All those in one lot. Now I put the oh that's right, I put the minimum bit of this to protect a little bit at three dollars. That's a you know like a half a buck a piece. They're all mint, all unused, all vintage from nineteen ninety four. Which to me isn't vintage, but I, I say it because a lot of you people seem to think you know the nineties is vintage. Okay, plus all of these are, are up for auction right now at a quarter piece. If you don't know where to go for the auctions, let me remind you. Down below is a drop-down box. The link in the drop-down box will take you directly to my store. At sportslots.com where I carry singles for you set builders and team collectors and PC collectors. I've got all kinds of stuff that has not been listed yet. I'm adding to it every day. So if you don't see what you want now, check back later, uh, you know, in a few days, in a week, whatever. I mean, it's very possibly going to be there. And, of course, on the bottom of that page is the link directly to my auctions. Always got jerseys and autographs up for bid. Most uh, as cheap as 25 cents. I mean, you, know, you, you can't beat that anywhere. Okay, uh, now, well, geez, I was just going to sign off, and we haven't opened this box yet to see what the hell's in it. Doesn't mean I'm going to, you know, open whatever's in there now, but... I don't know, I'm like a kid at Christmas here. Trent, I hope you didn't go overboard. Ow. Just stabbed myself with a pair of scissors. No blood, no foul. Well, Chris at the hobby box certainly does seal this stuff up good or well oh, peanuts on the floor which is certainly better than my pants on the floor wouldn't you agree holy crap wow Almost every one of you know that I love opening up packs. And usually the only thing I can really afford to go out and buy to open up is retail. Well, this ain't retail. Moly! It's got this all set up in saran wrap and bubble wrap. Now, why is the theme song of Jeopardy going through your head right now? Do, 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 do. going to be this difficult, I would have played the song in the background for you. Hey, I think we just about got it. Ooh, and he picked a good year, too. There's no note enclosed, so I can only assume it's from, from Trent. Hobby Box of 2009 Dunruss Elite. 2009's a good year, as you well know, for me. Because I PC Josh Freeman. Now, uh, I can only guess that Trent sent this to me pretty much as a birthday present just because. And my birthday really isn't until Friday the 29th. 
And uh, I'm just stunned that somebody would actually think of me that way. You know, because I boy, this stuff can't be cheap. So I'm going to uh, try to hold off and open this up live on camera on my birthday, which would be the 29th. Uh, anything, you know, before or after will be filmed before and after. I, I just, I'm, I'm right now, I'm a loss for words. You know I want to open it. Everybody here knows I want to open it. I know I want to open it, but I, I'm I'm guessing that it, that it is a birthday present. Trent had emailed me uh, or PM me uh, within the last week or two, asking me when my birthday actually was. So this is this is an awesome, awesome present, Trent. And it certainly wasn't necessary. I mean, you know the. The best thing you ever did for me it was, it was turn me on to sportslots.com. Yeah, it's a lot of work, and yeah, there's a, a lot of deadbeat buyers and even some deadbeat sellers there, but, you know, I am making money. You don't put in the time, and, and you know, you're not going to make money, and, and it, does, it certainly is time-consuming, but I can't thank you enough because I, I, need, I need stuff to do. I'm not the type to sit around and watch television all day long. Too many things in my life that haven't been accomplished that uh, still need to be done. And I don't even know why I'm rambling on with that crap. Anyways, happy birthday to me, Trent. Thank you so, so much. Uh, I, I'm stunned. Okay, y'all, you know the routine. Up here's the subscribe button. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much to all of you uh, tubers who subscribe to my channel and comment and rate on my channel. And uh, many of you turned out to be some outstanding trade partners. Lord knows I got Monday I've got a lot of stuff that's got to be sent out. I don't make promises I can't keep. If I told you it's coming, it's coming. And... Uh, to everybody, thank you much. I wouldn't know what to do in the morning when if I got up and there wasn't a YouTube community. Ooh, boy. Do I uh, sound like a moron right about now? Sure feeling like one. Anyway, say bye. I appreciate the views.